So we're talking Battletech right now, but you guys know how this goes, right? You've got your wargaming system, your set, your army, your collection. It's good, uh, good strategy, a lot of good diversity in terms of models, a lot of different things you can put down. Your backlog of to-do paint stuff is actually done, and you're feeling pretty confident. But then you have an amazing narrative game, and in this case, Battletech, uh, the recent clan game, where you see a glimpse, you see a glimmer of something interesting that you want to develop out, you want to push out. And it starts off small, maybe adding a couple of miniatures to your collection or, or building out a side lance, or in this case, a star, to now, this is going somewhere else. And, and I'm very intrigued, and this is an idea that I want to push out. So in the last game... Uh, against my excellent friend Dave, an amazing Battletech strategist, he brought a fire moth to the table. And he had it carrying a group of elemental suits. I want to say salamanders. I'm spacing on the name a little bit. Um, but essentially flamethrower, uh, flamethrower, battle suits, battle armor with um, SRMs also. So a little bit of a one-two punch on there. And I was really intrigued by this mech because, for the most part, the clan mechs that I've been playing... They are heavy and assault class mechs, um, targeting computers, a lot of heavy weaponry on there, fast moving. So here we have, I was really intrigued by the mech because we have a fast moving mech that is almost hovercraft speed, is, is hover speed on there. Surprisingly good armament on it. You've got the SRM-6, the SRM-4, you know, the, the main configuration, and uh, the two... ER extended range lasers. Normally I've been feeling pulse, but but ER matches with this. Absolute no armor. I mean like locust type armor. But that plus the clan technology, plus the ability to move fast on there and pop off that ability for nine hundred and eighty battle value? Under a thousand? Now that's that is pricey for a light mech. But it's almost like, wait, take all of take all the advantages of the clan mechs. The tech, the weaponry, the special abilities, package it up in something very, very extreme, very, very specialized on there. Um, you know, Ghost Bear had that down, and have it be under a thousand battle value. So in the game, in the last game, uh, Dave dropped this mech in, unleashed the elementals on there. They got into a great position, and then the mech is kind of running around, gunning and running and gunning, harassing. And I'm like, I want to get five of these on the table. That's 5K battle value. And then I want to fill out another 5K in elementals, salamanders, that are going to ride in on each of those. And then one other mech, a light mech, something different, obviously like a command role on there, but, but some sort of tech that um, is going to strengthen and leverage the speed, but also just do something a little bit different and have this like, Fast insertion, recon, disrupt behind enemy lines, ultimate themed lance on there to just really, really explore. I'm, I'm really, really intrigued um, with it on there. I thought I was out of Battletech. I thought I was good. Not to mention on the 17th, we've got the new Kickstarter coming up. I don't even know what's in that yet, but I'm all in, um, whatever it is. But yeah, I, I, want to, I want to explore that. So I pushed this out there to you guys. You've got the five mechs. You've got the salamanders. What command mech, um, what single mech to, to um, operate as that star commander on the table should I be looking into? And I want it to be something uh, obviously unique, but, but something that has to think outside the box. Something that has an ability or some tech or a role that's not always utilized on the table. I guess an inner seer counterpart would be like the fire starter that I can look to add to this and leverage and push forward.